is equal to the cosine x. So let's try first analytic. Whenever is a y, I'm exchanging with the x. And whenever is a x, I'm going to exchange with the y. So x is going to be equal with the cosine y. Now I am uh, I am taking the inverse of cosine both sides. And this one is going to be inverse of cosine of x is going to be equal to the inverse cosine times cosine over y. But as we saw before, inverse cosine times cosine is equal to the 1. 1 times y is equal to the y. So y is equal to the inverse function of x. And the last thing, we are exchanging those denotation with the inverse denotation, and this is going to be cosine of x. But this doesn't doesn't prove a lot but first of all let's try and let's draw this uh, this function uh, y is equal to the cos uh, so y is equal to the cosine x if we are drawing here let me take uh, some uh, critical point let's say here is one and here is a uh, minus one okay so let's say here is a pi over two let's say here is a pi three pi over two and two pi and if we are drawing this function but here for example uh, here, for example, is going to be a pi, of course, pi, and this point here is a pi and minus 1. This is a 3 pi over 2 and 0, and this one here is going to be 2 pi and uh, 1. And if you are drawing the function, the function is going to be something like this. It's going to intercept at this point here. Go, is going to this point and from this point goes up here intercepts and is going here and this function is going to repeat forever same thing is going in the other side and is going forever to minus infinity but now we already know this function here cannot pass the horizontal line because if we are drawing horizontal line is going to intersect in more than one place so it means that this function in throughout the domain does not have an inverse function, but we want to restrict it. But before we restrict it, let me take uh, first of all the, the line, let me draw the line y is equal to the x. The y is equal to the x is going to be something, this line here, okay? So this line. And this line here, first of all, I am looking now what domain it could be. If I'm restricting the domain from 0 to pi here, the cosine x, and uh, is going to pass a horizontal test. Whenever I am drawing a horizontal line, is going to pass. So from 0 to pi, to this point here. And this point here is, uh, is uh, 0 and 1. So this point here. And this point here is going to be 1 and 0. 1 and 0. So this part here is, uh, is a symmetrical with this part. Now I have here uh, uh, point 2 and 0 at this point. And this point, if I am mapping here, at this point here is going to be 0 and pi over 2. So this 0 and pi over 2. And this is going to go up to here now. But now I want to, to the pi here, and this is a pi and minus 1. And if I am writing here, a minus 1 and the pi to this point, so this is the inverse function. So the inverse function, so just let me write it with a little bit of different color, because of everything with the blue, I don't like it. So this is the inverse function of a cosine x. And as you see the now, if you are looking, for example, from the domain for uh, this function here, the domain is, uh, of course, here is a uh, minus one from minus one to one. And if you look, uh, for example, for the range for the inverse function is uh, from zero to pi. So is a uh, is a restricted and is is a is a closed interval. The domain is a closed and uh, the domain is a closed in the closed interval and also the range is in the closed interval but if you want to look a little bit better we can draw in the graphene utilities such as a desmos and in the desmos can look in this form so here is a little bit much better 
than what I draw is the more beautiful because this is everything on the scale. But here is the y is the cosine x with the purple. And the inverse function is this inverse function of the cosine x. As we see here is from minus 1, so the domain, to 1. And the range is from, from 0 to pi, the range. So this is how it looks, but is restricted. Is in the restricted domain. And the function uh, y cosine x is restricted in the domain from 0 to pi. 